Good morning, curious minds. Curious minds want to know. Jeffrey Epstein. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> wow, I've never seen so many tweets and so many, so many short stories and so many people chattering about one guy's dead. Death. Alleged death. So, let's talk about all of it, right? Ah, the NYPD on the scene. From a New York perspective, let's talk about Jeffrey Epstein. Is the NYPD doing their job here in Brooklyn? <laughs> and what is that job? <laughs> Cover up murders? <clears throat> so, it's, uh, it's about 24 hours after the Epstein alleged uh, murder, death, suicide, whatever we want to call it. Whatever we're calling it at this point, right? 24 hours later, still no official word. No official word, no, no word from the, from the authorities that said what happened. Uh, nothing from, just a lot of speculation so far. Nobody, uh, what I'm saying is nobody has taken the, taken the stage, coming out, come out in front of the cameras and given an official statement of what actually happened. So, so what do we know? So let's talk about working theories. This is fun, right? Conspiracy theories are flying right now. <laughs> Even Trump is chirping in. Trump, Trump, is, Trump is retweeting pictures with Hillary Clinton in it. <laughs> Shit is crazy, right? You know what it is? It, 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 um, I'll say this. It's a sadness, right? It, it's a real sadness in our country right now. Because we, don't, we, can't trust, we can't trust our own intelligence agencies. We can't trust the media to report correctly. We can't trust the... the the authorities that we pay out of tax money to do their job, to protect a prisoner or to, to, um, to, indi to indict a prisoner or to try a prisoner. We can't trust them anymore. Why? They cheat, they cheat our elections. They, they fucking steal our tax money. They, they <laughs> give it to the rich. It's a sad, it's a sad reality, you know, that we're living in. That we can't trust, we can't trust our own government. So, so here we have it. Let's see. <clears throat> so what, what, what are the theories on the table so far? The official one, the quote official theory is he killed himself in a prison cell. Hmm. <laughs> Not believable, really. And I'll tell you why. He was killed in a prison cell. So, the two main theories are, he was in prison, uh, Metropolitan Correctional Center, I've showed you the place many times, I told you that it's a torture chamber, I was correct in saying that, it's a torture chamber, you're full of, you got cockroaches running all over you, you got rats running across you, they stick you in a, in a 9 by 6 cell, wake you up every 9 minutes, torture you, right? that's where you go when you plead not guilty. <laughs> you go and you sit there, El Capo, right? But then again, money can buy money can buy uh, buy you solace, even in even in a place like that. John Gotti was not, uh, notoriously known to have ordered Peter Lugers anytime he wanted. Jo you know, John Gotti was eating fifty ounce steaks while he was sitting in Metropolitan Correctional Facility waiting for his trial. Right. <clears throat> here's, the de here's the deal with conspiracy theory in New York. Here it is, right? I'm going to tell you right now. Never underestimate the greed of the other guy. Mm. That's probably been in 10 gangster movies. I'll say it again. Never underestimate the greed of the other guy. And you say, oh, all right, well, the billionaires got to him. The billionaires got to him because they were, because they were compromised. Jeffrey Epstein took their money, and, and and he has sex tapes with them having sex with children. Uh, well, that's one theory, right? And that is a good theory, and that is the overlying theory. But don't underestimate the greed of the little guy. Is what I'm trying to say. NYPD, police chiefs. People that have a direct, uh, are directly accountable for the guilty party. 
people in the in the prison cell, uh, prison uh, system. You know, politicians, little po- local politicians, people that can get close, can get right next to you in that jail cell. Those are the people I'm talking about because that's where money can buy you something. Right? That's where the shit really happens, right? And and don't underestimate if you give a correction officer a million dollars, shit is gonna happen. Shit is gonna happen. Anything you want to happen can happen. That's what I'm saying. Don't rule out that it's not some higher conspiracy. But it could be a very, a very, very uh, low-level petty conspiracy. To do what? To kill him? Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the other theories, right? So, so he killed himself, or he was killed in prison, or this is this is popular. He was never in the prison cell at all. He was never there. All right. He's that's just he just walked out the back door because he's a rich Jew. That's one theory. That's another theory. Um, he's alive and well in Israel. <laughs> he was never there. And he appeared somehow through the back door. And then he left again. Or they staged his death and now he's alive and well drinking you know, martinis and screwing teenage girls again in Israel. Because... Uh, Acosta, the the, uh, the 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 guy, the Trump Trump's housing guy, right? That gave him the sweetheart deal in Florida when he was the prosecutor said that he was intelligence. Right? So he went back to his intel, not not American intelligence, Mossad. Ah, Mossad. Guys love that word, Mossad. Ooh, the Zionist Mossad Jew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, it's fun. It's fun to talk about, right? Mossad. Mossad's got him, right? He's a Mossad agent. CIA. Israel CIA. Right? So those are the theories, right? And there's here's the big one, right? Here's what I think. I'm going to tell you what I think. But I want to get out of all the other ones, right? So so let's just talk about uh, MCU, uh, M- MCC, right? Metropolitan Correctional Center, as I told you, is a torture chamber. It's a, if he were to kill himself, so, so the press is reporting that he was on suicide watch for a week after he tried to kill himself. And then he was not on suicide watch. And a, a series of approvals, high, high up approvals, have to be made to release somebody from, from that, from uh, suicide watch. And apparently that was done. Right? So he was on suicide watch, and then he wasn't on suicide watch. But the whole facility is on suicide watch. This camera is 24-7. All right? Now, if you're on suicide watch, it's, even, it's, it's, almost, it's, it's virtually impossible to kill yourself. It's virtually impossible to, to do anything without someone knowing that you're doing it. Right? It's 24/7 surveillance. <clears throat> it's a special cell. All the all the the walls are windows where people can see you. You can't see them, they could see you. Double glass, right? There's nothing in the room that you could hang yourself from. There's no ledges. There's no bars. There's nothing. It's just a it's just a concrete block. Right? There's no way you could you could String up a claw, a, a rope, and you're not getting any rope because you're sitting in there almost naked, and any clothes they give you are paper quality, that would tear away, the second you put pressure on it. So on suicide watch, virtually impossible to kill yourself, in the way that they said he killed himself, which is hanging himself. Right? Now if he's 24/7 surveillance, right? Impossible. So if he's not on suicide watch, which is unbel- un- unthinkable for someone who just tried to kill himself. <laughs> it's just not going to happen in that, uh, under that kind of profile. So, so, so that's the other, the other theory is that 
Every the, the the what they're saying is that every nine minutes a cop walks by. Every nine minutes, when you, uh, you're checked on every nine minutes, even if you're not in on suicide watch, there's a constant flow of people watching you, and that's not to, and and that's tw- there's cameras, twenty four seven cameras in the room, guaranteed, right? guaranteed, whether they want to admit it or not, it's guaranteed. Uh, so the idea that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself uh, with with all the with all the pieces in place of a functioning uh, prison system is ridiculous. Uh, it, it's not it's not really possible. So you have to go to Plan B, which is assisted suicide. Now we're down we're going down the avenue. I'm going I'm taking you down the avenue of. He was in the in jail and he killed himself. He's dead. Right? That's the that's the given here. Right? The other the other side we'll talk about that he's you know, he's in Israel smoking smoking hookah with uh, whoever. With a hookah. <laughs> smoking hookah with a hookah. But he's in so the idea that he was the idea that he that he committed suicide on his own, uh, with all the parameters in place, is ridiculous. So that leads us to assisted suicide. Ah, assisted suicide. Now you say, well, why not assisted escape? That's a good point. That is a good point. But here's what we know for certain. right? Here's what we know for certain. Jeffrey Epstein has left the play. Right? We agree on that, right? Jeffrey Epstein has left the play and he's never coming back. He couldn't come back. Could you imagine if Epstein finally w- walked in the door one day and he was alive? Oh my god. <laughs> you know how many heads would roll for that? It's the same with, you know, anybody else that people theorize about them being, you know, Mossad. Right? It's it's the same, right? If if that if that dead person should suddenly come springing back to life, <laughs> that would be the most unfucking believable thing in the, on earth. Uh, it would be you know the Walking Dead, right? So, so did he pay his way out? Did he walk out of the jail? Did he pay his way out? He paid some money and they they fudged him. There is a picture. There's a couple of pictures floating around. New York New York Post says they got some shots of him. You see a guy. It looks like Jeffrey Epstein. He's on a gurney. You got some NY. You got some fire department guys. You got some EMTs pushing him into the hospital. There's a there's markings on the wall, Gold Street, meaning that there is a, a little hospital downtown. So is that photograph staged? I don't know. It's New York Post. I, I don't I don't think they would do that. My question would be, well, why didn't they? Why weren't they rolling a video? Why why just? Why just stills? Why two stills? Where's the video? You don't roll a video. You got the most. I mean, one of the greatest stories in you know, and uh, uh, right now, right? The the hottest story. You don't get the you don't get a video of it. You got a guy there, and there's no video. It's a little suspicious. They only got two snapshots. But so so the theory of assisted suicide is that possible? That's my that's my guess, right? Because he's not going to walk out of that. He, there's there's two there's no way that he's going to be allowed to walk out. Uh, it's just not. I don't know. It's just no way, no way. He's dead. Jeffrey Epstein is dead. And my suspicion is that that, that he was given. And only an autopsy can find out if I'm if this is correct theory that he was given the tools to kill himself, meaning maybe a rope, maybe some kind of you know asphyxiation pill where you, you swallow it and suddenly you go into cardiac arrest. Right? That in conjunction with a rope around your neck, a fake rope. Right? Everybody's happy because someone had to have turned their back to allow it to happen. That's the point. Never underestimate the greed of the other guy. Someone had to have turned their back to make it happen. Somewhere. Whether it's he walked out the door or it's the theory of assisted suicide. Someone 
had to turn their back to make it happen. Right? That's a given. Right? So he's in the torture chamber. Why would, why would he kill himself? Oh, that's, that, I didn't really talk about that. Why would he kill himself? Why would he? I don't want to die. I want to live. No, you're in a torture chamber. He's a, he's a rich, uppity Jew flying, the, flying wherever he wants to go, doing whatever he wants to do, eating whatever he wants to eat, f- fucking whoever he wants to fuck. Right? He's, he's a ruler. He's a, he's a master of the universe. And suddenly he's put into a kennel. Like an animal, with roaches running over him and, and, and fucking rats and, and, and nasty police that torture you. And, and, you know, look up your ass every nine seconds. Literally, probably fucking searching his asshole. Right? Torturing you. Right? A guy like that can't survive, right? Now, a guy like John Gotti is a street guy, could survive for a little while. But for the most part, it's, it's unthinkable that a guy like Epstein could survive that. You know what I mean? So, he wanted to die. You have to give him the benefit of the doubt that he wanted to die. And he was willing to pay handsomely for the tools and the time and the, the, the opening to be able to do that. Right? So, someone gave him the tools, whether it was a rope, whether it was, whether it was a pill... Or both, something that would take him out, right? Psychotropic drugs, poison in the food, something, something that took him out. Was he on psychotropic drug drugs to wanna escal- escalate his suicide? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Here, 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 Jeffrey, take this pill. It'll make it. It'll fix your anxiety. And suddenly you go into massive anxiety and want to kill yourself. Uh, it's a torture chamber. It's designed to extort a... It's sad in our country that we have this. You know, we have, we have torture chambers. It, it does speak to an ugliness about our, our system. And that any one of us is subject to this. Really. Right? It could happen. Anybody can end up in that situation and be tortured. And we allow that to happen. That's right in Manhattan. It's, that's like, I don't know, 10 miles away from where I am right now. I, I've been, I told you, I've been there. Well, I've shown you, I've taken you there many times. So t- let's just talk about the body for one second. We have to see an autopsy. If there is an autopsy, I'll be there. I'll go see it because it's a medical examiner in New York, and I'll be able to see that. Right? What else? A funeral. Now, he's an innocent man, right? So, to turn his body over to uh, the funeral people, right? Have a funeral, right? He still has some friends, some family, right? I don't know if anybody wants to see, be seen at Jeffrey Epstein's funeral, but do we get confirmation of a dead body? Now, again, we, we don't know any, any, of, any of the intelligence that we're going to get to be true. Uh, that's the sad reality of where we are right now because probably Monday morning, tomorrow morning, you're going to see a bunch of FBI and a bunch of suits come out and tell you what's going on. And do we believe it? <laughs> no. Based on what I just told you about the corruption in New York City and the, 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 the fact that money can buy anything and someone there could be paid lips sealed right now uh, well, you can't believe any of it, right? So, will there be a funeral? Will there, will there be a wake? Will there be a, a uh, autopsy that we could go and look at and say, well, you know, what's the toxicology? What, you know, what happened? Did they snap his neck? Did he, what, what happened? You know, you find out from the autopsy, right? Um, so, I mean, that's really it. My, my thought on it is... Uh, my thought on it is, is that it is an assisted suicide. That someone slipped him the rope and the pill and said, go ahead, Jeffrey, do yourself in. And it, that solves a lot of problems. It makes everybody happy. Right? Now, was that, a, was that a, 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 uh, a, a signal from the Clintons or the Trumps or some other big player like the, uh, 
the new New Mexico governor who just got named as a pedophile? Was it? Well, it could be. But again, don't underestimate the greed of the little guy. It could have been that. It could have been a one-two punch where it's both. Right? It's someone working with someone else to, you know, get that rope and that pill and how to kill him. And in conjunction with the torture that he wants to die. He doesn't want to deal with this shit anymore. You know, they're, they're in there telling him, you're never going to get out of here. What, are you kidding me? They're going to, you think this is bad? Wait till you see where we're going to send you. You think this is bad? <laughs> Forget about it. We're going to put you in a fucking, we're gonna put, you're going you're gonna to stand up. We're going to put you in a two by two cell and you, you'll sleep standing up for the rest of your life. Uh, uh, torture him. Fucking torture him, right? So... That's his psychology. That's where, that's the mindset of, of Jeffrey Epstein, right? Right? Uh, you know, he give, give him that opportunity to kill himself, he's going to kill himself. Right? Set it up where he takes his own life. Nobody killed him, but it is assisted suicide. It's torture and assisted suicide. People say that uh, MCC was worse than Guantanamo. Ooh. Very limited space in there, right? You drive yourself cra- drive, go crazy. It makes you grateful, too, you know? Freedom. Like, I'm out here walking around in the streets. Beautiful day in New York. Poor as poor gets. So, breathing nice air, 65, 70 degrees out. Cool, free, healthy, happy, smiling. Huh? Fucking people, even in these homes right here, people are miserable. It's, Early Sunday morning, they're hung over. They're overworked. <laughs> what is freedom? What is happiness? I don't know, man. I guess it's different for everybody, you know. For me, it's got to be the simple things in life, you know. Uncomplication. Truth. Yeah. So, you know, and it brings... Uh, you know, it's these the, the Epstein thing is a byproduct of lying to the public because again we can't we can't believe it. It's a fascinating story, but it ends here, right? Now it's a it it it, it goes into another conspiracy. But the fact that this guy was was openly raping female children from 13 to 16 years old in a country where that is illegal. The age of consent being 16 is is a very real crime. Is very real, right? And should we feel sorry for him? No, not really, because he got what he got, right? He lived fast. He lived high on the hog. He never thought he would be. He thought he was above the law. And in the final analysis, he's he's a he's a dead man, right? But. I don't know. I, I think that, you know, I, I've said it before. I haven't said it in a while. But I think, you know, these, if we could go back to a simple form of government of honest Congress, honest Senate, honest, you know, president, eliminate the FBI, the CIA, just get rid of them to get money out of politics, right? If we could get back to a simple form of business in this country, you know, I think we would have a. <laughs> Have a shot at getting some some truth, some truth back in the system, right? Truth, right? You can't believe any of this shit. It's so unbelievable, man. So, I don't know. What's your thoughts on it? Those are my theories, right? Those are the, the current theories that I've heard. If I've if I've missed any, put them down below, and we'll we'll talk about it. But assisted suicide still seems to be the the. Um, Ah, that's my work in theory right now. Marcus Conti reporting.